Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope this finds you all well. Um, yeah, today I thought I'd do a really simple, even if you can't draw, you'll be able to draw this one. For the most part. <laughs> most people are going to be able to draw this. Some people are uh, have much more difficult time than others, so... This is going to be just two little birds and some flowers. And like I said, pretty basic. Now I've drawn a oval here because I'm thinking I might uh, put an oval mat over this. So that gives me my guidelines. Now I'm just going to start with a little curved line like that. So almost an oval with a bit of a point here. It comes around, meets it there. Two little feet, a beak, a little eye, closed eye with some eyelashes, the wing. Cute little tail. And that's your first bird. How easy is that? Make sure I'm in the camera at a good angle. Okay. Now our second bird is going to be a fair bit bigger, but same idea. So curved line. Down. Let's come down fairly low, join the two together, two feet, a beak, let's have this one open like it's talking, a wing, and a tail. Now how cute is that? Okay, now we're going to come in with flowers. real basic flowers that's one and we'll have another one let me see how it's thinking of our proportions here let's have another one right about here so a little space here little curly cue some leaves And that pretty well does it. Maybe a leaf here and here. Okay. Simple as that. Okay, we're going to double our lines here. Makes it a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more fun. Then I'm going to come in with my micron pen and redo the whole thing. Maybe we can put 
dots on this one and say stripes on this one. And that's it. Okay, now I'm coming in with my 01 micron pen. Actually, I'm going to use a 04, which is a, the tip of that's a little bit thicker than the 01. And just basically trace my pencil lines. Okay, so we've drawn our little, our birds, they're too cute. <laughs> I'm, uh, make sure I have all of this erased. I'm going to come in with a, a number five brush and start painting. Now I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. Uh, but you're, you're going to see me painting. You, I mean, I think you'll get the gist of it.
Okay, I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to introduce a little more color. Um, yeah, and then we'll be back. Okay, so my little painting is dry. Now I'm going to come in with a little more color. I didn't want them to blend together, so I'm going to come in with an orange to uh, just accent our little flowers a little bit. And maybe our little circles here. I'm not sure what color I should do those. Uh, don't want to introduce too much color in this. Maybe stay with the blue. Possibly a darker cobalt blue instead of the uh, cerulean blue of their beaks. The brush is a little bit too wet. So I'm going to just lift that a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a second to dry that. I think what I'll do is come in with my micron pen again and instead of adding color I think I'm going to just give this little guy some stripes here and we're going to uh, Bring out our pen or our ink lines here a little bit thicker. Make them a little bit more prominent.
Now, as you can see, that was an easy little subject to draw. Easy to paint. Just a fun little piece, I think. Okay, now what we can do is we can leave it like that if we choose, or um, we could bring some splatter in. I kind of like the uh, plainness of this. Not sure. Well, let's splash a little color in. What the heck? Let's bring a little bit of that pink in, I think. May as well go with the... Uh, playfulness of, of our little piece. Okay. That'll do it. Okay, we're done. Isn't that fun? Okay, going to take the, uh, I say okay a lot. <laughs> I'm going to take the tape off. show you how our little piece looks with the mat over it. Okay, I've chosen an oval mat where the center is yellow just to bring out the yellow in our little painting. Okay, something like that. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, lots of fun to do these little paintings. They, uh, there's a sense of satisfaction without the difficulty, you know, without the stress. So if you enjoyed that, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, YouTube pays attention to how many likes, how many comments, um, how many shares you get, those sorts of things. So it's not just sub sub subscribers. Gee, I struggle with that word. It's not just subscribers and viewing time, although those are important. It's also thumbs up, you know, likes and comments. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I look forward to you joining me again. Until then, remember, today's a good day to have a good day. Bye for now.